The City of Joy gears up to face a team mentored by one of its favorite sons. On Friday, Kolkata, who may still be in the aftermath of a humbling defeat to Chennai in the last match, face a resurgent Delhi, who arrive on the back of a comfortable win against Bangalore. So what can Kolkata do to recover from the small setback? Captain DK will want his batsmen to keep delivering. Kolkata are one of the highest run scorers in the tournament and score those runs at the fastest clip. Their talisman, Andre Russell, has the highest strike rate in this year's IPL and has hit the most number of sixes. Kolkata at home against Delhi. Well, the biggest challenge for Kolkata in this game is to kind of forget the last game. They got only 108. Uh, struggle big time that game against Chennai in Chennai. Uh, but their philosophy is to go hard right from the top till the end. And this is a philosophy that they've followed. And that 108 in the last game is an aberration. I don't think that will happen again. That just happens maybe once in a season. So I think, as I mentioned, it's more of an aberration and they need to forget. Uh, well, but uh, not everything is all right with, uh, with Kolkata. I mean, their over dependence on uh, uh, Andre Russell is very evident. Uh, that's something that they need to worry about. The top order really has not fired as much as I would have liked. Shreyas Iyer will hope he calls right at the toss, as Kolkata have had two batting collapses batting first this season. One of them was against Delhi. The important thing is they've batted uh, first thrice, and out of that, twice they've lost uh, five wickets in the first 10 overs itself. So there is a food for thought uh, if Kolkata is batting first. Can they change their batting order? Can they shuffle it and maybe use someone like Shubman Gill uh, in, in, in a better position batting first? That's something they might uh, want to ponder about. Now, moving forward, uh, looking at my playing 11, I don't really want to make too many changes. I'll still go with the same 11. That would be Harry Gurney's first home game uh, of the season. Uh, and yeah, I, like I said, the last game was an aberration. I don't want to make too many changes. And in Kolkata, uh, uh, Kolkata Knight Riders have gone with almost the same playing 11. More often than not, with three spinners. So I don't want to change anything there. Pitted against Kolkata is the fine bowling unit of Delhi. That famous Yorker against Russell apart, Kagiso Rabada is the highest wicket taker in this year's IPL with 10 more wickets. Okay, so it's um, Delhi versus KKR. Um, but my squad here that I've, I've selected for this match, um, or my probable squad, um, I've left Ishan Sharma out of that, out of the team. I brought in Abhid Mishra, um, and obviously Abesh Khan's come in as well, just for the ex extra seamer. So I just think that Mishra at this stage of the tournament might add a bit more to their dynamic, their bowling attack. They've got obviously Rabada and Chris Morris. Uh, as a, as a seam as, along with Avesh Khan, then um, Lamachane is obvious, he's always going to be in, in the side. Um, I just think Mishra at the moment, I don't think Ishan's offering quite enough and I think Mishra will be, will be a handy inclusion. Um, and the rest of the batting order pretty much stays the same. That said, Delhi have also witnessed collapses, but on the other end of their innings. Delhi, who have the lowest run rate at death, have lost the most wickets in the zone too. This is in stark contrast to the last IPL when Delhi had the best run rate and lost the least number of wickets at death. Um, Delhi, uh, if there's anything to improve at the moment, it's probably their, their death overs batting. Um, obviously, I mean, there's the obvious stuff in there where you, you know, wickets in hand and having a couple of batsmen in in the death overs is obviously easier said than done. Um, the thing is, they've got the guys down there that in the past have, have been reasonable to death. Chris Morris can hit at the death. I mean, even Rabada can, can hold a bat, but um, yeah, obviously I think just that, that middle order um, timing their run nicely so there's a, there's a couple of batsmen in because there's not a lot you can change with the death batting as in as far as positional wise. I, I think they've got the players there to do it. Um, it's just a matter of those guys standing up and, and uh, having the confidence to back themselves in and do what they've done in the past. But I think I just that the simple case of um, keeping some wickets in hand, it might mean you know, sacrificing two or three overs uh, in, your, in your run to the death. Um, and then having guys in, um, recognised batsmen in to, to launch at the end. The battle to watch out for. Chris Morris, who has had the upper hand on Andre Russell. The fast bowler got Russell out when the two teams met earlier this season. Eden Gardens will surely roar for Ganguly, even if he's in a different jersey. Will the host spoil his homecoming? Who's the favourite for this game? 
Well, even though Delhi is a very, very exciting team and they would be very, very happy to play outside Delhi, the kind of batting lineup that they have, but I think beating Kolkata in Kolkata will be a, a, will be a difficult job and uh, I'm going to keep Kolkata ahead in this game. The KKR Delhi match uh, at Eden Gardens, obviously, I think the wicket tends to probably suit both teams. Um, it doesn't look like a real big advantage for any side. Um, they're batting, you know, they both go at it and they both take the game on both sides. So um, it should be a good matchup. Uh, look, I've just got a good feeling about Delhi in this one. Um, I, I like their batting lineup. They're, they're, di they're dynamic and, and they, they really do take the game on. At the moment, I think KKR have still got some, some issues in their middle order, um, which they'll need to address. So at the moment, I'm sticking with Delhi and obviously that, that, just that rabata factor um, against Russell, which is going to be a big matchup. If there's anyone that can stop uh, Andre Russell, I think it's uh, Rabada. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.